second speaker ACP storytelling, Mr. Ramesh. General evaluator, fellow Toastmasters and speaker. <coughs> this, the objective of storytelling, let's get personal. Story per se has various elements uh, like the central theme, the setting, the characters, the time, uh, what is the problem or conflict or twist in the story, the outline of the entire story, and how the story ends and how the story begins. These are some of the elements of the story and how it is going to help me as a speaker. Many a time in my life I get a lot of experiences, something mem sometimes memorable, sometimes not so memorable, but every experience has all these elements. This story brings in that capability in me to pick up all these things in my story and weave it around that. We generally miss all these finer elements, only tell the overall learning or overall experience in a few words. So this uh, particular project helps you to get that. You chose a wonderful topic of whitewater rafting because it is, a, it is a surprise element and a wonderful experience. At the same time, it also brings in a sense of fear. So your initial uh, inputs into the topic that you went to Rishikesh and you happened to get in touch with your friend, he called, he called you and you went into whitewater rafting. <coughs> you are very vivid when you describe uh, about raft and rafting and you also, you are uh, Dialogues with Deepak or dialogues with uh, Buzz and dialogues subsequent to the uh, actual rafting uh, was very vivid and I could visualize that I was there with you. Why the, the story didn't have a climax what it should have if it had been a story? And the story uh, could have characters developed well. You should bring picturize Deepak well or picturize Buzz well, where you have few words with them. Why this uh, two areas which had to be improved? crept into your story because you had an element of speaking to inform in your storytelling. You started informing about rafting, you started informing about what happens in Ganga, you started informing about what happens in a debriefing session. These are all speaking to inform. This is not part of your story. So story is weaving your experience in a manner which makes us live with you. Okay? As soon as I landed up on the banks of uh, Ganga near Shivpuri, I saw a big water body moving forward. And I could see the gradient of the water. So you are developing a story which is about the environment. Then I find this tall American walking around <coughs> saying, Hey, I am bus. And then you can give a description of the American. Then it gives you a little more input about what this person is all about. Or you can talk about a divinity American, but he had a bellowing voice. Right? It gives a contrast, so I remember it. Right? <coughs> developing the characters. Deepak I know from his school days. He is such a guy who will be a uh, drop of hat is go for an adventure. Then I get a picture of Deepak. Right? Something to develop these characters. These are few areas which I want you to work when you are doing a storytelling going forward. In spite of this story being mixed with the uh, speaking to inform aspect, we still could be with you because of your sheer energy and enthusiasm in sharing your experience with us. That made up for all the things otherwise it was not there in the story. Right? Thank you sir for a wonderful story. Thank you. I think uh, you have created a beautiful, vivid images of white, uh, white water rafting. And uh, though you were a learner, you went inside there, uh, dare to get inside and uh, do a wonderful rafting. But what I like best was the way you connected it with Toastmasters. And here, uh, regarding this, uh, the twist which you are supposed to give it in this uh, story, I wish you had given a twist when the boat capsized and all of you uh, down into the water. Uh, there you could have played a little more dramatically and you could have created that uh, uh, suspense and uh, the dramatism you could have created. That's one thing. But I think some of the uh, wonderful usage of words were there and the way you connected it with the, the mentoring and teamwork when you connected it with Toastmasters, that was also very nice. It's a wonderful presentation of the story today. So let's give a big round of applause.